In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, come with Debbie and I as we hit the Goodwills, the Salvation Armies, and even the Vintage Farmhouse. We found a lot of great finds that day, and we can't wait to take you along. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we get started, for those of you who are new here to Flea Market Rescue, I just want to welcome you. My name is Kelly Sherry. I do thrift store makeovers with my funny pal, Jenny. Uh-huh. I also love taking you along as we go to the thrift stores, the garage sales, and the flea markets. So if you're up for some fun DIY projects and great shopping sprees, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Well, you guys, the other day I got a text message with this photo, and you know what? It was from my mom. Debbie had taken her to her doctor's appointment, and guess where they went? They went to the thrift store. This is actually my mom's basket. This is such a huge thing because my mom has not been out in seven months. Now, the next day when Debbie and I were supposed to go out, my mom was so exhausted. That had taken a lot out of her, but guess what? It's the start of her being back. So like I was telling you, Debbie and I were supposed to go shopping the following day, but I decided to stop at my mom's before we left because I wanted to see like, hey, what did you get? And as we were talking, I didn't realize this, but Debbie was outside waiting for me. I peeked my head out and here she was coming up the driveway. Hello, Deb. I'm coming to get you. You were just coming to get me. Here I am. Let's okay. Go. We got places to go. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Let's do it. Now I would have loved for my mom to go with us. However, she was just so wiped out from the other day that she just needed to rest. But like I said, you guys, it is a start. So Debbie and I decided to go to the Goodwill in Oxford, Michigan. All right, so we are at the Goodwill in Oxford, right Deb? Oh yeah. yes. We're gonna find some good this stuff today. Favorites. Yay. Right away, I was noticing they had some cute Easter stuff out. The first thing that caught my eye was this Martha Stewart blanket. I love this color. I think they call it chartreuse. But then when I saw the price at $20.99, I was like, no can do. But don't you just love this color? I know I don't usually use a lot of color, but this one I love. It reminds me of spring. And that's what we're looking for today, spring items. Ooh, this looks like hearth and hand. $24.99. Now, if I was buying that for myself, that would be fine. But to resell, I don't think I'd really make too much more money than this. And for that reason, we're going to pass on that. This is kind of cute. Now, I didn't end up putting this in my basket, but a little bit later, I noticed someone else did. And that would be Debbie. I saw it at the checkout. That's cute. Yes, yes, I have to agree because it caught my eye too. That's a really good price, $2.99. With that being said, everything else I picked up was so expensive. All right, $12.99 for this. So the most I probably could sell this for is $15. So what am I making? Nothing. This is a beautiful mirror by Hearth and Hand, but at $39.99, this is just like so overpriced at a thrift store, I can't even believe it. I think a reasonable price for this would be $24.99. At $39.99, you might as well just go out and buy it brand new. Those little white trees up there, cool. aren't they cute? Not that I need any Christmas. Oh, my goodness gracious. Debbie's gonna climb the shelf. Oh, I just threw my arms. Didn't you see that? <laughs> now I'm thinking this might be something I can afford at this store. Or maybe this spoon, which actually it probably should just be a dollar. Ooh, Ray Dunn, $5.99. Oh, as is. Of course, it has a crack in it. Dang, I would have bought that. But then again, it probably wouldn't have been $5.99. 
This is confusing. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Don't know if I'm going to get it, but it is pretty. Now these are cute. That would be worth $4.99, I would say. Now, I really love this. However, I just wasn't sure, like, you know, is that gonna be a good seller, is it not? And that's $10, so I don't know. I just really didn't find a whole lot at this store. Debbie found a few things, but I couldn't wait to get out of there. Our next store was the Salvation Army in Oxford, Michigan. Oh my gosh, look at these dice bookends, you guys. How crazy are these? This is kind of cool, right? $5.99, that's a good price for this. Oh, I want this big pair down here. $4.99, that's what I'm talking about. See, these are thrift store prices. Here's some Ray Dunn, Joy and Cheer, $2.99 each. But do I really need any more Christmas stuff? We're supposed to be looking for spring stuff after all. I like the typeset on this pillow, and the heart's pretty cool too. Boy, wouldn't this have been the perfect pillow for the Super Bowl? Or even if you have kids who play football, and you're a big fan of football, this is the perfect pillow. When I first laid eyes on this B pillow, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this pillow. That is until I turned it over. It reminds me of the 80s, you guys, and it was kind of dingy in the back too. Oh, I see an angel down there. I might have to get this. I know, I saw that at the bottom of the shelf. Look at this, you guys, $5.99, and I want to show you something super cool. If you flip this over, it has a little compartment in the bottom. You could hide an extra key in there or anything, really. Oh yeah, we are getting this. Oh, now this is cute for Easter. And for $1.99, why not? Let's check this candlestick out. All right, $8.99. No, I think I'm gonna pass on this. But there's a second one here that's a little bit shorter, so let's check out this one. Now $6.99, you're talking my language. I think we'll get this one. This is kind of cool. What I really like about it is those beads. What is this? Some kind of weight? It just kind of reminds me of like what the strong man would lift in the circus, doesn't it? Well, we found a couple goodies at the store, but there really wasn't a whole lot. So now we're on to another Salvation Army. This one here is in Clarkston, Michigan. I told Debbie, I always find good stuff here. And she said, don't say that because then we won't find anything. Like I'm jinxing myself for saying it. That is so cool. You don't want it? Oh no, I got so much stuff. I'm gonna take it. Look at that. You got it? Yep, I got it.
That's kind of cute and gardeny too. Look at this, lemons, lemons, lemons. You know how my mom loves her lemons. Actually, Debbie went ahead and got this basket for her. For Easter? Yeah. Okay. Already done. There's some more down there. Oh, here's another one. Oh, we're hitting the jackpot so far. And I haven't even been here like two minutes. This bird is super cool, but he's $7.99, so I'm not going to get him, but I do really like him. Hey, I bought one of these eggs like this by Ray Dunn. Only after I bought it, I found out it had a chip in it. Now this one here is $12.95. That's a little bit on the higher side, so I'm not gonna get this one. I was watching some kind of TikTok and someone said to buy coffee table books because they're so expensive in the store, but at the thrift store, they're cheap and they really look good on your coffee table. And I thought, you know what? She's absolutely right. I could see this book on like a potting shed table where you maybe have a pair of gloves draped on top and then some clay pots on the side. Maybe a few garden tools tucked in the pots. Yeah, I could totally picture it in my head. Anyway, I think I'm gonna start looking for some coffee table books. Oh, I'm gonna need to get this plant. I actually had one of these from Ikea. what I tell ya? I knew it. Oh, now this is pretty. I don't know, is that lavender in there? This is really nice, so I could see that on a table. Souffle, oh, I'm definitely getting this. And this is gonna be perfect for my spring open house. And speaking of our open house, that's gonna be on March 23rd, 2024. We are gonna have tons of spring decor, two tents, food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. And that's gonna be between the hours of 11 and five. So we hope that you can make it. Make sure you mark that down in your calendar and hopefully we'll see you there. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this. There's something about this guy. He's just a cutie patootie, isn't he? Don't ask me why I'm looking at Christmas stuff, but look at this. I love this. I have to get it. This is kind of cool too. No, as much as I like him, I'm gonna have to put him back. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna take a quick look at this house here. All right, this is not right done and it's pretty light, so it's like a cheap imitation. So I'm gonna be able to put this one back too. All right, we need to get out of this whole aisle because I don't need to look at any holiday decor. That is, unless it's Easter. Oh my gosh, gosh darn it, they have such cute stuff here though. Look at this though, oh, it's only $3.99. All right, I'm telling you, we're gonna leave right after we look at this fall sign if I don't knock everything over here. I think I need to grab this from the middle. There we go. Oh, will you look at this? I think I saw one of these on Facebook Marketplace and they wanted $25. I'm gonna have to get this, you guys. Yeah, I know it's out of season, but uh, this one's really grand. I like it. Yep, it even looks good in my basket. I like this. It's $6.99 and I totally could see like a cute little plant in it. So yeah, we're gonna get this too. Man, someone must have dumped all their Ray Dunn off because I am finding tons of it. Oh, that's really cool. They even have Ray Dunn for your dog. They have a whole bunch of pieces here. Look at this. These are so cute. Oh, look at the bunny with his cabbage. This is a great spring piece. 
and it's at the perfect price point, $3.99. This box is so pretty. I don't know, are these coasters? I'm not sure. Hang on a minute, I see a little white picture here. How cute is this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. I think everyone's pretty much done with winter and ready for spring. I might get this too, because I do need some more spring stuff. I like this little creamer. I'm going to get this too. Oh my gosh, love this cup. Quit it. I'm hitting the Ray Dunn jackpot today. Welcome to our crazy, fun, loud, happy home. They had me at crazy. Oh my gosh, look at this rooster or chicken, whatever it is, bok bok. Do I need a chicken? I might not need a chicken, but I need these towels. Oh wow, these are really premium Halloween towels. I never come across these really good graphic towels, not at all. What the heck is this? Bunch of letters, but what does it say? It's like they're all tangled up. Why are they all clipped together? I don't get it. All right, curiosity has gotten the best of me now. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that here. Oh, this is neat. I'm not completely in love with it, but it's neat. This is an unusual base. From back here, I really thought that this face looked cool, but then when I pulled it out, uh, not so much. Nope. Oh, I have to have this. Love the look of this. And at $6.99, I can't put it in the basket fast enough. Oh yeah, I love this. Oh, what do we have here? This is a nice metal tray. It is $8.99 though, which, you know, you totally could double your money, but I just don't know if I want to spend $9 on this. Let's go find Debbie. Look at Debbie's even shopping for me here. Oh, that's cute. Blast. Those two are set for, how much is it? Two for, I think it's the lid though. Oh, okay. I, I think thought it was the two. Yeah, I think they're counting that. Ooh, the picture. Oh, Debbie, you probably would like these. Look at this. Look at the towels. Oh, do you have a lot? Okay. Yeah, Debbie loves Halloween pieces like this. Just look at her house. She goes all out. So yeah, I thought for sure she'd love those towels, but I totally get it. When you got a lot of stuff, you don't want to take more. But that's okay, because I don't mind hanging on to them. Like I said, I rarely come across these kind of towels. All right, I need to see what else Debbie has in this basket for me. Oh my gosh, we are hitting the jackpot. Yeah, it's a good one. I always find stuff with this one. See, I really wasn't jinxing myself. This really is a good Salvation Army. I'm not kidding. I find stuff every time I go here. Oh my gosh, Tammy. Get your Mary on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that is cute. And it's the perfect color. Like the, I love the stripes. Yeah. Did you want that? Yeah, I like that. I think it's really cool. Look at the cool stuff Debbie finds. She got the eye, doesn't she, you guys? Look at the shoe, you guys. Oh my gosh. I need this shoe. $3.99 and I just think it's so cool. Oh my gosh, these would make the perfect hanging light fixture. And there's two of them for $4.99. Put them in the basket. 
And speaking of baskets, what do you guys think about this one? It's kind of cool, right? It almost looks like a flower. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. Now, with spring coming up, I love to get realistic looking kind of flowers. And this one here looks really good. So we're going to get that. Yep, it's pretty and it doesn't look all plasticky. Now, I thought about getting these for a hot minute, but then I realized, you know what? These are two separate pieces, and I really think there's some roses missing. I mean, like, I can see the glue, and how am I going to match these roses in the middle here? I'm not. Yeah, sometimes you just have to let things go, and this is one of them. At first, I thought this was like a wooden box, but then when I turned it around, I noticed that this was a shelf, like one of those floating shelves. Oh, geez, I'm like a bull in a china shop. This is a cute tray. You know who likes sweet tea? Debbie. As a matter of fact, when we get out of here, she said she wants to stop and get one at McDonald's. You know, I've never liked tea. I don't know what it is, but ugh, I don't like it at all. That and fish. That'd be like the worst dinner ever for me. No can do. All right, let's move on. Right away, I was drawn to these, but you know what? The one and the two I'm not sure if they're made to be distressed like that or are they just really worn down. Because of that, I did not get them. But what I've noticed, I'm really drawn to things that have numbers on them. I could see these antlers like in a big filler bowl. They're $4.99, that's really not a bad price. I mean, they're not like real antlers, but they have a nice look to them. And again, they could really be nice like draped into a filler bowl. And what I mean by a filler bowl is like just a wide kind of bowl that you would put those moss balls and maybe grapevine balls in. Well, what is that? It's all wood fruit. Oh, yeah. Cool? Like in a bowl? Mm -hmm. I just brought a new card out. Look at that. I love that. How much is that? $3.99. Oh, I want this. Debbie always has her eye out for things. I love it. That's so cute. Here's something else she found. How cute is this? What do you say? Let's put this in the basket too. Why not? Oh my gosh, I just found one of these last week. Do you guys remember? I'm gonna buy this one too. I love the ropes on the side. It just has a really good look. I thought this was pretty neat. It was a blue tag, so it was half off today, which was probably my only blue tag. I don't know why that is. I rarely find the tags that are on sale. So as I was doing my last sweep around this place, I was like, oh my gosh, look at that hope sign. What's not to love? I mean, in life, you gotta have hope, right? Uh, I think I did pretty good here at the store. You want this? Sure, for $2. Okay, Debbie, what did you get over here? Um, I have this Natalie's that I can't find a price on. That's pretty. Anywhere? Yeah, it's really pretty. It's the whole thing, there's no price. Oh, wait, no, 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 oh, I see it. Awesome. It's 15. 15 yeah. It's a full ball. It's a full. Well, we made our way up to the counter, and Debbie, she's so sweet. She helped me box all this stuff up. I ended up spending $180 here, but I think I got a lot of stuff for that. Well, you think we'd be done after this, but nope. Debbie wanted to go to the Goodwill and Holly. And really, who am I to say no? So that's where we headed. Oh, isn't this unusual? Oh, yeah. It's really pretty. That is very pretty. This oh, store always has see. great holiday stuff. I thought this wreath was so sweet. I put it in my basket and Debbie's like, is there another one? And yes, there was. So Debbie bought one and so did I. Oh my gosh, I like this cement bunny. Speaking of cement, I need to order some more cement heads and some cement bunnies for my cement guy so that I'll have it there for spring. In the meantime, I think we're going to get this little guy. Oh, I like that, Dom. There's another one. Yeah, people love these books. Right you on oh yeah. What I tell you, this store has a lot of great holiday stuff. Is it? 
I never heard of that melamine. It's like the that you do in class. Here. Oh, okay. I love these moss rabbits. With this one being a smaller one and being $4.99, I really don't think I can make a whole lot of money on it. So I am gonna skip this, but I love them. Oh, that's super cute. What is it? Oh, a butter dish. That is too cute. They have some cute stuff, don't they? <gasps> love that, Dobby. That's adorable yeah. for $4.99. $4 yeah, that's good. So I go around the corner, and lo and behold, there's another rabbit. The exact same rabbit, but this one's $7.99, where the other one was $9.99. So just to let you know, when I went to the checkout, I'm like, why are these different prices? And so she ended up giving both of them to me at $7.99 each, which I couldn't have been more happy about. Is that a doormat type thing? Right on. Oh, right on. Happiness is homemade. Mm -hmm. it's so sweet. Now this is really cute, but I was kind of leery about getting it because I bought something similar during fall and I still have it. It didn't sell. So although I thought it was really cute, I really was not really sure. Was it going to be a seller? Was it not? So I just passed on it. So Debbie and I made our way to the back of the store where there's more of the home goods stuff and we were going to see what we could find. You never know what you're going to find on these shelves. No. I found, actually have found good things on the, these shelves. But today, I really didn't find a lot on these carts, but that's okay because we have a lot of great spring and Easter stuff we found, and I did find a few things on the shelves. Like this little thing of greenery. I'm going to put them in little bottles, and I think it's going to look awesome. And that's only $2.99, which is a dollar a piece, and it's going to help sell the bottles. I really like this round mirror, but I just didn't want to spend $15, but it really is a good price, especially if you're buying for your house. It's a super deal. Oh, will you just look at this cutie patootie? Two bucks. We're taking them. I was going to buy this, but then when I got it up to the front, I noticed it had like a water ring and it was like deeply embedded in there. So there was no way that you could get it, you know, out of there without destroying this tin. So I, I just let it go. Now we probably should have went home after this, but we didn't because we're diehards. The vintage farmhouse was just a mile away and I love this place. This place is so cool. Do you guys remember? I took you there early last year. We found so much great stuff. It was crazy. Wow. What are those, Mom? All little They're molds. They're little jello, jello molds. $18 for the whole thing? Yeah. There's a couple in here that has uh, Look at the little bunny. the little bunnies. There's two of those. I found this for $42, and I was able to sell it for $85. And I've even seen these go up to $125. There was just so much great stuff and at great prices. If you want to watch that video, I will leave a link in the description below for you. All right, we are at the Vintage Farmhouse again. I am so excited to go in here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Kelly. How are you? Hi. Oh, hi, you guys. Gosh, Denise, can you believe she's here yeah. right now? Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome to the Vintage Farmhouse. You know I love the Vintage Farmhouse. I know. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, thank you. So you know how many vendors we have here, right? I have no, I have no, no idea. Oh my gosh, there's over 50 of them. I think there's like 63 of them oh, here. Okay. And then oh, our wow. sister store, which is only two blocks away, right? 30 vendors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Antiques, vintage, unique items. Perfect. You can find it here, right in historic downtown Holly. Wow. I love it. <laughs> yes. All right, so we I'm gonna it, I'm gonna take a look around if you don't mind. Please do. Okay. Bring your friends. Where's yes. Debbie? Oh. <laughs> Debbie's coming. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Well, let us know if we can help you. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Good to see you, Kelly. Thanks. You guys, each booth is decorated to the hilt. Like each one does such a good job in like designing their booth. It's inspirational. And again, there's so many great finds here. Oh look, they got a head there, just like the ones I saw. I 
Oh, I see some houses here too. You remember when I broke mine at the thrift store? Yikes, and they were so nice too. Some Ray Dunn, a cow creamer. Love, love, love this mold. I actually showed Debbie this and she's like, are you gonna get it? I go, no, you can get it. So Debbie bought this. This pig's pretty cute. I just want the thing. Oh, I love that. Just to put flowers in. See, that's what I love about this place, is it has, it's like, unique. the, yeah. Oh, that's good. Did you bring your own shopping cart? No, this was sitting out by the door. No, I didn't even <laughs> see those pines. And then I just found these. Oh. I have a bunch of lambs that I see. Oh, that's those cute. Nice. Do you guys remember when I was leaving Colette's? I met this woman named Patricia, and she even came to my open house. Well, she has a booth here at the Vintage Farmhouse. So let me go ahead and show you it. I saw this little bunny in her booth. You guys, look at her prices. They're so good. If you guys wanna check her out, again, she's at the Vintage Farmhouse and I will leave a link in the description to her YouTube channel. Now, I knew Patricia was there, but what I didn't know is as I was walking by a booth, I saw a sign and it said, Kendra's Corner. I was like, oh my gosh, I know her. You guys, we met her in Davisburg. My mom had stumbled across her booth and we found out that she watches Flea Market Rescue and her booth was just so beautiful. Her booth is so cute, isn't it? Yes, it's very Aww. cute. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, she's at the Vintage Farmhouse, so if you get a chance, stop by her booth. Her prices are also really good. And just look at her stuff. She has really nice stuff. I bought one of these cute birds in Davisburg. Now, while I was here, the crazy thing is I ran into someone who had come to my open house. She came to my fall event and she has a booth here. I completely forgot about that, but this is Maureen and I wanna go ahead and show you her booth. All right, so I'm gonna tape your booth here because I think <laughs> it's really cool. I was just in here a little bit ago. I didn't know it was your booth though. <laughs> oh, Debbie. Debbie just picked up a little mold like this. Debbie, there's another tin mold here you have to see. Oh my gosh. Look at yes. it. Yes. Isn't that cute? I really love this place. So many cool stuff. Oh, a Ray Dunn clock, you guys. <gasps> Look at the little chick, too. <laughs> How stinking cute. Look at this little chick with the crown. Oh, my. <laughs> Very nice. Maureen's booth is called Mo Stuff. And I thought she was being cute, but really, I get it now. Mo, Maureen, Mo stuff. So you're going to also want to check out her booth if you come to the Vintage Farmhouse. Isn't it beautiful how they display things here? 
I love all the old cabinets. I love the vintage style here. Oh my gosh, you guys, Debbie would have to point this out to me. Yeah, I really love that dress form here. You guys know I have a weakness for dress forms. And right now, I do not need another one. This place is dangerous because you can find so much stuff here. Do you know they even carry Wise Owl paint here? Yes, sirree, and I had to get a can. I had actually wanted to get the gray linen because I've used that before and it's absolutely gorgeous. But unfortunately, they were out of it. So I ended up getting the Grecian clay and we'll see how that goes. All right, Debbie. Debbie has a bag already. Oh yeah. All the important yes. stuff. All the important stuff? Important stuff. Needed yes. stuff. Of course. <laughs> dangerous here isn't it oh my god i know yeah and you said oh i can't go there i'll spend too much <laughs> hello i know and here's debbie with a bag full of stuff and right now they're ramping up my stuff well you guys if you ever get a chance to go to the vintage farmhouse you will love it it's one that you don't want to miss all right it is time to go home well at least i thought it was there was one more on our way home the lapier goodwill I mean, like, it can't hurt, right? The first thing I came across were these canisters. Now, I really like them, but I thought they were a little more on the higher side, but I bought them anyway. Yeah, altogether, they were $16, but I know I can make money on them because they just have a really good look. Debbie even said she was looking at them, but she didn't want to pay $16. Oh, will you look at this bowl? I love how the inside looks and I love the wood color. Yeah, this is nice. Do I need a duck? I didn't end up buying it, but you know who did. But they, uh, I picked that up. I was like, oh, someone grabbed that. Yep. Why did you want it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm fine. Now I have to say their plants were pretty high here, $14.99. Beautiful, but I'm not going to pay that. They also had a smaller plant for $9.99 up front. That is just crazy. Really, this plant should only be about $4.99, $5.99 tops. Now I did see this enamel pot while I was there. That is a really good price at $2.99. A lot of people collect these enamel pieces, especially the white with the black rim. Another thing that was priced really well was this reindeer bowl and cup set. It was brand new and it was $4.99. And then when I got to the register, she let me know that all the Christmas was 99 cents. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I really like this Rest Easy spoon holder, but it has a chip, so we're gonna have to let this go. What the heck do you got in your basket there? A sheep. Oh my gosh. Where did you find that? It's sitting over there. That is crazy. Isn't it so cute? Oh, it's Easter? so cute. Three bucks. Three bucks? And the sheep at the end of the night makes it a very successful day. Absolutely. Isn't he so cute? I know, he's cool. He's coming home with me. Well, that's a very good way to end the night. I hope you guys enjoyed going shopping with us. Don't forget that online shopping starts next Thursday. Yes, next Thursday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a lot of great stuff for you, and all that stuff will be available to purchase at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our website. Speaking of our website, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, which you probably have not because it's been down for seven days. That's right, you guys, seven days. I was ready to pull my hair out, but it is up and running now. So if you get a chance, check it out. It is really a good website. We have YouTube projects that you can just click on and watch the video. You can go on a thrifting adventure by clicking the button. It'll take you through the whole playlist of all the thrifting trips. We have a blog, so if you want to know what's going on with Flea Market Rescue, you can go on there. And now you're able to go right on the website and buy Flea Market Rescue merchandise. Before, you had to go to Etsy, but now I have it available on the website for you. 
Now, if we hit the shop page, which, you know, there's a menu at the bottom and also the top. Once you hit the shop page, you're going to go over to the categories that are on the left hand side. Now, if you're using your phone, the categories are going to be on top. So it's a little different, but on the desktop, it's over to the left. If you go straight down to the bottom where you see home decor, you're going to click on that. And then, like I said, at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time, everything that's available to purchase will be located right here. And don't forget, I always do a preview in my video earlier in the day. So that way you'll get to see everything that's going to be listed that night, five o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, I just want to let you know that I do combine shipping. So if the website doesn't do it for you, I will adjust it later. Just go ahead and buy what you would like because otherwise you might lose out on it. These items go pretty quick. So yeah, you guys, happy shopping and we'll see you Thursday. And just one more reminder, don't forget about our open house that's on March 23rd, 2024. We are going to have tons of spring decor, two tents, food and beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. And that's going to be between the hours of 11 and 5. So we hope to see you there. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.